So, the other day I accidentally went to the gym without my earphones, which if you go to the gym, you know how much of a disaster that can be. I did my entire workout without watching YouTube videos, listening to music or listening to podcasts. Literally all I could do was sit there and think about myself, my future, my relationships, my to-do list, everything that I needed to get done completely opened my eyes. So I'm quitting YouTube. Let's talk about it. What is up guys, Karma Medic here, and welcome back to another dose. All right, so let's address the elephant in the room. The title of this video is true, but probably not in the way that you're thinking. I'm not quitting making YouTube videos, but I am quitting YouTube consumption. For 30 days, I'm having a YouTube detox. So leaving my earphones at home was a moment of realization for me. I haven't reflected on my life or myself in honestly what feels like years. I've been filling all of the time that I don't already have scheduled for medical school, work, or chilling with friends with just consuming content, any kind of content. My attention span is constantly filmed with music or videos or podcasts, which means that I'm permanently distracted with no space in my mind left to think. I was actually sitting down with a friend on this balcony over here the other week, and I was telling him how excited I was that I was starting to build a team around this YouTube channel and that I would have help and it would free up some of my time every single week so that I could go on to think about new video ideas and film even more videos, crazier videos that take away more time and effort. And you know, I was going to be excited with all this free time. He looked at me and he said, yeah, that's great, but you could also use all this free time to just relax and chill out. And that is where it hit me, like a fucking train. I realized that the idea of just chilling or just relaxing isn't even on my list of possible things to do. With whatever free time that I have, I just move on to the next thing on my to-do list, or I create some new work for myself so that I can improve the channel even more or do even more in my life. And I think this constant state of just being on the go and getting things done has stopped me from being able to just stop for a second, be in the moment and reflect on myself and on my life. Something about this needs to change because A, this is not who I want to be. I want to be someone who thinks deeply about what they do and how they feel. And B, continuing to do this for a long time just can't be healthy. So basically, I spend way too much time watching YouTube. You know, whether I'm sitting on the toilet, cooking a meal here in the kitchen, having a shower every single night, walking to and from the train when I'm on the bus or I'm on the tube, it never stops. I'm always doing something and I'm always distracted. I'm just non-stop consuming content. And between medical school and this YouTube channel, my time is already quite stretched. And then on top of that, during all these little breaks that I have in between, I find myself turning on a podcast or watching another YouTube video. And I know for a fact that I could be spending that time in a much more fulfilling way than just mindlessly watching content. Just um, ignore the kitchen sink for a second. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I can only do one of these things at a time. I can either be watching a YouTube video or I can be thinking about my life. And usually if I remember that there's something important that I need to do, I'll pause the video that I'm watching and then deal with it. Add it to my to-do list, make a phone call, you know, message someone, whatever it is. But I can be doing those two things at the same time. Now, some of you watching might be thinking that there's nothing wrong with what I'm doing and it might be the way that you or other people consume content. And you know, that's perfectly fine. Everyone has their own way of doing things. But just for me personally, I think I'm trying to become a more reflective person and I'm trying to actually think about why I do the things that I do and how they make me feel, which is something that throughout my whole life I have consistently ignored and pushed out of my head. So this is kind of a huge revelation for me and something that I think I should think about more. Honestly, sometimes I'm just talking to my friends and they're recounting an event or telling me about something that happened and they're walking me through their line of reasoning of why something happened and how it made them feel and why it made them feel a certain way. And I'll be listening to them just thinking to myself that I, I can't relate at all to this process of thinking that you're going through. I've just never thought about events in my life in that way. Things just happen. And if it's good, then it's good. And if it's bad, then it's bad. And I don't really think about it much more after that. So one way that I think I can be a more introspective person, someone who's more in tune with their feelings and their emotions and my own thinking is by quitting YouTube consumption for 30 days and seeing what I learned from it. I think it's actually going to force me to sit down and think about myself. And it may seem exaggerated or like I'm going from zero to a hundred, which would be fair criticism of what I'm doing. But honestly, if you've seen this channel, and you followed me for a while, then you know that's how I am. So I'm gonna put my all into being this better version of myself. And so to do all of this and achieve my goals in those situations where I should actually just be thinking and taking a moment to be with myself, I'm gonna do exactly that. No more YouTube videos when I'm cooking, when I'm showering, when I'm walking around my flat, 
no more. If I want to sit down and watch a specific YouTube video, then I'm still going to do that. I don't see anything wrong with that. I just don't want to be watching YouTube videos mindlessly whilst doing other activities, not being present in the moment or being present actually watching the video itself. So believe it or not, I have a fairly short attention span. So at first, I'm certain that I'm going to be so bored, I'm going to be itching to reach for my phone and throw on literally anything just to occupy my time and keep myself busy. But the more that I force myself not to do that, then the more I'm going to become comfortable of being with my own thoughts, which is the ultimate goal here. Like with anything else, any new habit you build, there's always that kind of awkward phase at the beginning where you try to fit it into your life, which can be difficult. And then, you know, the more and more you do it, the easier it becomes. You just have to push yourself through that really difficult part at the beginning. Every time that I feel that need to reach for my phone, I'm going to try and take that as a reminder to spend that time thinking and being by myself in the moment. At the end of each week, I'll reflect on how I've been feeling from doing this, and I'll take some of my friends much needed advice. I'll take a little bit of that extra free time. I'm hoping that making this kind of conscious higher level decision right now will lead to me being more of the person that I want to be in the future. And so that is it, guys. That is why I'm quitting YouTube for 30 days. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like this kind of more open and honest type of video. Do let me know if you've ever thought about doing something like this yourself or if you're currently doing it. I read all of the comments, so please do feel free to leave me a comment and I'll respond to as many as I can. And that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. A bit too abrupt. Let's try that again. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> All right, I'm coming back for you, camera. I'm coming.